Welcome back everybody. My name is Kevin. This is Rachel. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. If you're not subscribed, we ask you guys to please click that little red subscribe button down below this video. Um, Rachel's going to tell the story. We got a lot of comments on our video about our neighbor trespassing. Uh, if you guys seen it, he pushed open our gate right over here, our security gate. Yeah. Come right in and uh, come to the front door and knocked on the door. Well, we didn't really get into what he wanted. Um, you know, he wasn't looking to, well, I don't think he was looking to steal anything or anything like that. He actually had a question. So Rachel answered the door. I was actually out in the field um, sighting in a rifle because it was just before deer season but anyways that's another point i was on our property i just wasn't at the house right so she confronted him and i'll let her talk about what he wanted and what she said and all that so oh wait before we do that don't click off this video if you're not interested in that if you see this little cage on the back of this truck somebody's fixing to leave the farm so stay tuned for that <laughs> all right go on with your story okay so like kevin said he was at the back of the property and he had messaged me and said that there was a suspicious vehicle at one of our other gates and so i was kind of already on the lookout and i said oh it's probably somebody that's just come down here and got lost or whatever so a few minutes later i get a notification on our camera app that somebody was at our other gate so i i text kevin and i said that uh, vehicle that you said was at our other gate is now at our front gate so I thought well maybe they're just lost or I you know I had no idea so anyway I sat there and watched on the camera for a few minutes and it didn't dawn on me who it actually was so I sat there for a few minutes and I thought what in the world he's got I know this person has our number I know this person has us on social media he has all these means to contact us and it didn't really look like an emergency type situation um, because I mean we are neighborly if there's an emergency we would be the first ones to help if we know about what what's really going threw on. you off is he was at the front door when all our property surrounded with fencing right. and gates so everything our <laughs> our entire property has perimeter fencing and security gates actual security gates so I watched him basically bust through the gate push it open um <laughs> and i'm like what the heck so i'm calling kevin i'm like the neighbor just totally disregarded our security gate and just pushed right through it and come to the front door so i'm like okay well so i answer answer the door and he was wanting to know if he could pull a camper through our front yard <laughs> there is there <laughs> their driveway it, there's a kind of a hill and a sharp curve yeah. and he said the wheelbase or something was too long but anyways that's what I he was know. wanting and then you confronted him about the gate what did what did you say because at that point i i kind of knew it wasn't you're already frustrated i was frustrated to watch him just totally disregard and disrespect us um and push through our gate and i knew it probably wasn't an emergency wasn't an emergency so i was already pretty frustrated at that point i was still very nice um but i did ask him um how did you get through our security gate uh and i really should have said why would you go through our security gate it's i should have rephrased that but i was frustrated and i i didn't find the right words but i said how did you get through our gate he's like oh wow well i just pushed it open well yeah that's obvious i i sit and watched you push it open i said <laughs> and i i did in a nice manner say you know we have the security gates there for a reason um and when you push those open like that it does damage the gate um, which it did it, it, it did it, it kevin had the sensors the, off and all that kevin which, lost a whole day of anyways of work that he could have been doing here on the farm fixing the security gate because that neighbor decided um him asking that question that was not an emergency type situation he had other means of contacting us um he just wanted wanted it right now he wanted to know <laughs> but there, there's a little bit of a backstory because we did get a few comments um, saying that we weren't very neighborly and this and that. And there, yeah, we're not gonna get into all that though. If you guys have been following us for two years, you know that's the same neighbor 
that the kid flipped the truck, was doing donuts right next to our property, flipped the truck, tore our fence down and all that. They didn't fix it, didn't offer to pay for nothing. No, and we, else. we actually filed a police report on that. There's a lot more even than that we're not gonna get into. We just wanted to make this video and kind of show you guys or tell you guys what he wanted and that Rachel yes. did actually confront him about pushing the gate open. This was not the, and, what uh, I'm trying to get at is this was not the first time that this neighbor has been very disrespectful to us and it's just been a battle for for several years um and that kind of was like at my wits end with that so i'm like kevin <laughs> it, it gets hard to tolerate We've got some to do, things and and honestly the security gates and such have been a lot due to um things with the neighbors um neighbor dogs running loose killing our livestock We've had a lot well, of issues. and we have animals. We have the dogs. We right. try to keep our dogs up and on our property, exactly. which is hard to do, but the gates have been working. We so. do everything we can possibly do to do our part to be responsible animal owners. It just, it gets frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> it gets frustrating and you do feel violated. Somebody just pushes through your security gate that's there obviously for a reason, but Kevin has taken um, some action and is, uh, I think he's got his number up on the gate, things yeah. like that. If, if signs and with our phone number, right. if you do need us for emergency or whatever, exactly. any reason at all, non emergency, just you can call or text us anytime. Right. We always have our phones. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's the story on that. Yeah. Now, I guess what we'll do is get these bugs keep flying in my I know. Face. What's I know deal? it's super windy. I'm surprised these bugs are flying around, but it's always windy up here on the hill. <laughs> so you guys see this cage right here? Somebody's going bye bye, and yep. uh, it is time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go catch this goat. We actually have a local um, person that is going to purchase this little uh, billy goat from us. He has a farm of his own. Um, Rachel and I went to school with their kids. Um, here at our local school, here goes a helicopter. I don't know if it's life flight or what. So he 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 messaged us right when this uh, little buck was born. Um, this is one of the only ones that we have, and I'll go ahead and just put the camera because they're actually right there. It's a little white buck right there with the little uh, badger face. Uh, he seen the video that we made right when these little goats was born, and that is a Niger Nigerian dwarf doe bred to a Kiko. So they're half Kiko, half Nigerian, and. Uh, people that's purchasing it they raised Nigerians and uh, they wanted to add the Kiko and the half Nigerian bloodline into their herd so they got some does they're gonna breed him with and all that when he's at age so what Rachel and I is gonna do is we're gonna catch this little buck we got a uh, concoction we're gonna, we're gonna attempt, attempt to, to catch it I don't have any food I got a uh, concoction of some dewormer here I'm gonna go ahead and deworm him just because when they're he hasn't been weaned he hasn't officially been separated from his mom. He is weaned, he eats grain just like the adult bucks. Right. But whenever we get him, he's gonna cry and stuff. And when you go to a new farm and you're a little goat, they get stressed out and their immune levels drop. And sometimes they can get worms and parasites and it can overload them. So we're gonna go ahead and treat him as soon as we catch him. And that way the new homeowner or homeowner we're not selling our house <laughs> the new goat owner doesn't have to worry about that right now oh, so you're funny anyways stay tuned for this because this could be interesting i'm gonna go get a bucket of feed first <laughs> oh i was yelling for mojo and he's over there taking a nap hey know. will you set this dog food up on the post i'm gonna get a uh, i don't want to get trampled so hold on So we gotta catch the little male. Here, I'll just put the camera right here. Mojo! Ready? Come on! Amazing what food does to 
these wild goats. Hold on. So this is the little guy. So this is the little guy that's gonna be leaving our farm. He's uh he's already weaned. He's old enough to leave. He's already been eating grain as you just seen. I poured the bucket out and he went right to it. Um, go ahead and talk to him. I want to grab his medicine and feed Mojo real quick. Look how cute he is. <laughs> yes. You're going to a good home. Mojo, Mojo you want to tell him bye? Come here. Come here. Come here. He wants to tell him bye. Here. That's his little buddy. <laughs> oh, poor. You okay, brother? <laughs> he said, get that chicken out. All right, guys, I'm not gonna go into what kind of medicine this is and all that. Um, we're actually gonna do a video. Rachel had an idea about doing a video over some of the medications and stuff we use on our goats. And I thought that was a good idea. So we're not gonna go into that, but this is a dewormer. And right now, uh, we'll check his eyelids. He's super pink. I know you guys probably can't see that. He's super pink and everything. But a lot of times, whenever you do wean them, they can get parasites, and especially when you're weaning them and taking them away from their mom at the same time. So just a higher stress level is yep, what he's trying to say. It's just a say. safety concern, you know, an insurance type thing. Precaution. Um, normally, we don't worm any of our goats unless they do show signs of parasites and stuff. But unless they're leaving our farm, because we know it's going to stress them out. Right. didn't spit too much of it out. All right, here comes the goats to knock over the camera. <laughs> you got some on your shirt. It's okay. All right, you ready to go to your new home? I think he's ready. All right, you ready, go, little guy. Go put him in the truck. Say bye. Say bye, everybody. Well, we'll follow you with the camera. How about that? <laughs> get the he sure is a good looking little guy. Yeah, he's gonna. I don't know what color goats he has, but he should throw a lot of color because you know who his dad is, is Chip. And uh, Chip has all kinds of color. Okay, I can here, here, but you're gonna have to close the gate. I'll get it. I think he likes to snuggle. Probably. He's a snuggler. Can you get him? I think, yeah, just get the gate. Wow. You're a good little guy. Yeah. All right, so there you go. He fits perfect. You fit perfect in there. We're gonna miss you. We're gonna miss you. He's not going for a very far ride. No, nope, but you're going to a good home. Yeah, he's going to a good home. <laughs> so Smeagol loves coming out here and doing chores with us. He always, uh, out here pestering the goats and they're not quite sure about him. So I want to show you guys the mom of the little billy goat that is fixing to leave the farm. That is her right there. She just headbutted those goats and get out of my way. Me and my baby need some food. That's the little sister to the little buck we're selling and this is the mother right here. And you guys can see she's a little bit shorter and uh, fatter. A little stockier than the other she's goats. She's fluffier. She is a Nigerian dwarf. She's fluffier. She's usually really nice. Uh oh. Smeagol. Uh-oh, Smee, good boy. <laughs> he cowered down and that was a good thing because her baby, that's actually a good mom. So say that was a predator, right? <laughs> say that was a predator, she just did the right thing that a mother should do and told the baby, hey, get behind me. I'm gonna protect you from this wild cougar. And Smee did the right thing of cowering down and showing that he is not a threat. Right. He... Oh. And another story on Smeagol. Every morning I give all the animals, um, the cats and all the dogs, they all get treats every morning. Well, the last three or four days, Smeagol has not been at the front porch waiting on his treats. So I'm like, where is he going? Well, <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught the whole um, video of where Smeagol <laughs> had killed the rabbit in the woods and was dragging it over here but he's been going to the woods over there hunting every morning and i see him he comes right through there he's been going in the chicken coop he gets up on that tree that's falling down he's just kind of out here he in the he acts like he likes being with the goats he loves it which that's what we really wanted yes. we wanted a barn cat and uh 
he has been a great hunter already. He's still a kitten. He's only like six months old and he's already bringing all these animals and stuff up to the porch and stuff. You know how cats will leave dead animals at your door to kind of brag and show your... show. Why'd he leave today, Kevin? Show the owners. Yeah, so I'm getting to, getting at. Um, they show their owners, hey, look what I caught, and then they'll eat it, it seems like, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he was That's biting so my funny. ear earlier. Um, this morning, I seen him playing with something on the front porch. I'm like, what is that? I go out there, and it's a little shrew. Like a little mole, but it's a little shrew, whatever they're called. I don't know. A lemur, a mole, whatever. I think they're all the same thing. I, I don't know. It, mole. it looks like a little mouse, but it's a little mole looking thing. Anyways, he brought it up there, but they didn't eat it. I don't know why. But he is quite a character. He's fierce. Smeagol, you are. <laughs> you're silly. He jumped on my back while ago. I was, uh, I've been over to tie my shoe. I was on the phone. I bent over to tie my shoe and he jumped on my back and bit my ear. <laughs> I had the phone up to my ear and he bit me. He likes to love a little bit, then he bites a little bit. He's a, he's a, he's a character. He's he's lucky to be alive because, as you guys know, he got stuck in my truck. Yep. And I started the truck and the fan and got him, but he made it through that. So. He did. You waste you you wasted probably eight lives there, bud. <laughs> Hopefully just one. But. Aww. He's a good boy. All right, so everything's going good with the goats. Um, Chip is still our alpha buck, which we might be getting rid of him eventually. We don't know yet. He's kind of settled down. I think he's got all the females bred, so I think he's kind of settled down. He's not really headbutting anymore, but he does like to kind of swing his horns at the bucket sometimes. Well, because I wouldn't right, even Chip? be able to get in the gate. He would leave bruises on me. All right, Chip. He's like a... He says, yeah, I'm sorry, Dad. Don't get rid of me, please. I promise to try hard. I really love him. He's he's an awesome goat. I mean, he's really good-looking goat. He's a... He's not mean, but he does get the... He does get the attitude of a breeding buck goat during... Which is natural. Breeding season. That is very natural. It's not something unnatural. Then you got this Americana rooster. <laughs> That's a pretty rooster, right? Yes. And Walt... <clears throat> Walt has been breaking up some rooster fights lately. Walt's a referee. He is kind of, I've watched the chickens go round and round the, the, where they were in the turkey coop and it's always because Walt is breaking up somebody fighting. It we just, thought Walt was being mean to him, but he's actually being a referee. Yes, it was kind of funny. That's, we need to do that one morning. We need hey, to just video. I know, hey, uh, Mojo, hold on. Mojo, look buddy. Come, Mojo, they're eating your food. Go get them. Go get them, get them. <laughs> he never bites them, but he sure acts like he's going to. You know what? He's got his bluff in. He does. Little. He growls and he snaps at them, but he's never bitten one. No, he's such a good boy. And that's what we want. We don't want something that's All super right. aggressive here. Okay, so this mama, her baby's over there in the truck crying. And uh, I think she's actually... I think she's actually happy to get rid of him. She's been her she did her job. She raised him up to be a big, healthy, beautiful baby, but he still tries to suck milk from her and he's well past being weaned. So I think she's actually glad to get rid of him. It's kinda like like when you turn 18 and your parents are like, okay, it's time for you to get a job and uh, yeah. leave the nest. I'm tired of taking care of you. You're big enough and old enough. I've taught you everything I know. Go do it yourself. I think that's what she's saying. I don't know for sure. Oh my gosh, you guys. You're always cracking me up. <laughs> All right, so I got to get this goat delivered here. Um, it's time to go. I got the big rig truck, the one-ton Dodge Cummins hooked up to uh, make my delivery. I think it can do it. It's, it's a light official load. official farm delivery It is. Truck, I don't want to scratch my... Uh, my newer truck up anymore. I think we need to put a sticker Look, on it. He's letting them, he's letting the chickens and the chickens and turkeys are smart. They sit there and watch him. As soon as he turns his back, they go straight to his feed bowl. I know dogs ain't supposed to eat cat food and cats ain't supposed to eat dog food and goats and chickens ain't supposed to eat dog food, but I don't think they're going to understand when I tell them no. He can't decide if he wants to eat he or wants, if he wants eleven. Yeah, he can't decide if he wants Rachel to pet him or uh, he wants if he to wants eat to eat. Food. So anyways, guys, there's the story of the uh, confrontation that Rachel had with our trespassing neighbor. Um, and we don't like to rant or complain or be negative or anything like that, but if... Respect's respect, though, right? Right. Privacy? We kind of... I mean, we, we are very um, respectful of other neighbors and things like that. 
that and just keep to ourselves and we just expect, you know. Keep talking. I'm just trying to set this chopper well, up. Well, it's crooked. Well. I'm on a slope. <laughs> okay. I can't hold that tripod. It is a heavy <laughs> tripod. It kills my arm and my shoulder. Yes, it does. And we need you in top performance here. <laughs> For I need a arm. massage. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. That's a little, little Anyways. much. <laughs> did I embarrass you? Or did you embarrass me? I don't me? get embarrassed. <laughs> Whatever. I don't get embarrassed. I don't know how. Uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, you know, we just Squirrel. we try and be good neighbors here, and we don't mind if there's emergencies, and we'll always help and do well, whatever. Most of our other neighbors, they call or text us if there's problem or right. Facebook message. Right. And we're not we, driving about our neighbors or nothing like that. It's just in the past we've had certain we, problems yeah. with a certain individual, and that's you know we're not gonna rant and gripe about all that no. stuff it is what it is exactly but so many people are interested in what did that neighbor actually want and i know some of you guys were concerned saying a lot of times people do that they're staking out your place well we have security surveillance we got the dogs we got um we're one of us is almost always here at our farm and if yeah. we have to go out of town or something uh my dad will come over and stay a lot we of time so we're not worried a, about that we stuff. always have a farm um a farm hand yeah. when we're away and we also have neighbors you got to drive right through their driveway and they're usually always outside working yes. if a weird vehicle or something comes up they're always calling or right. texting and saying hey there's a vehicle coming up and so. we beefed up our security right. um definitely we've added a lot more cameras um and things like that but you know just you know which not only deters like honest people people can still do bad things with right. cameras some real thieves and bad people don't care right we're not saying this neighbor is a bad person or anything it's just everyone should respect everyone else's privacy right and respect their <clears throat> if you got gates and fences up don't push a gate open no no and uh you know and it's not that we care uh to an extent of what he was wanting to do but we've had other people respectfully ask us and they've called, got our number somehow, uh, messaged us on social media and, and done that the respectful way or even left a note on our gate. Um, yeah. That's the respectful manner to do that. Now so. we have caught people, we have come home. Smiggle, you just untied your boot. We have come home from doing things, being out of town and stuff and we've come home and we've actually caught a vehicle in our yard that was scoping out our house and there was this lady she was knocking on our door acting like she was uh looking for a lost dog or something it was very very uh, sketchy no that's one instance but we had another there's been a couple is what with, i'm saying there's been a couple i had another lady that so, but, but she didn't here. think we were home and she was going to dump a dog yeah, in my front yeah, yard I and i come that. out and caught her so you know the gates i know you guys even know a lot of you said it these gates you can push them open you can drive right through them if you wanted to it's not going to do anything if you want in you're going to get in that's not what we're saying but it is a boundary it's that is meant to be respected if i come home from work or if i come home from the store or something and my gate's been pushed open and there's someone walking around my house um i've always got stuff with me yeah you know so that you know that's just one thing that i'm always ready you might say rachel's always ready but what I'm saying is if I come home, my gate's pushed open and there's someone in my yard walking around, that's usually a good sign that that person is up to no good, especially if there's a vehicle in our in our uh, yard when the gate's closed. And we also had instances in the past Meagle, before all the security gate because he wanted yeah, you. Yeah, he gets up here and bites me. He loves you. No, he doesn't. So He's yeah, mean. we've had other instances where some people thought we were not home Look. and they would actually... <laughs> he's gonna bite me no he's not he's mean a he's mean not cat. mean he loves you he's just giving you lovings so yeah we've had other instances before where people thought we weren't home and, and i was actually home and we would have people drive right around our house yeah. like looking in windows and this would be weird, like an everyday stuff. occurrence and i'm like why would you do that like and that is so disrespectful another thing i needed to address that a lot of comments um you guys were saying a lot of viewers said was you need no trespassing signs guys we have tons of no trespassing signs yeah 
I just, I just think some people can't read. We've just added, we've added more also, but that we have been. all of that. Um, and we don't ever focus on the negativity or the negative comments or anything no. like that. But we, we don't mind them. You can post all the negative stuff you want. I yeah. don't care. Uh, I don't wear my feelings on my, on my shoulder. Uh, you might get blocked. She though. said I got embarrassed a while ago. I don't get embarrassed. I don't get mad. Oh, I do get mad, but it takes a lot to make me mad. And then you lot. better watch out. But negative comments, I don't care. It's, it is what it is. I mean, it's gonna happen. I don't care either way. But we love the uh, positive comments, and you're more likely to get a reply if you leave a positive comment. And uh, if you leave a negative comment, that's really bad. You'll probably just get blocked and you never get, get the comment again. But we don't rant and rave or anything like this. But we had a lot of things that we needed to address He's just me, due man. to that video. Um, so don't ever think, hey, you're letting the haters get to you and all that stuff. No. That's not the case here. We just wanted to address a lot of... Haters are going to hate no matter yeah, what. Yeah, it don't matter what you do. You can't please everybody. We know that. We just, we want you guys to always leave our videos, um, hopefully with a smile. If it's, you know, not all of our videos are always like something happy. Yeah, Smeagol's like, a smile or a bite. You know, we pride ourselves in um, showing you the good and the bad as far as farm life. So some things may not always be as positive. Some things may be a little bit sad when we lose an animal. Your dad um, knocked one of my teeth out. And things like that. Yeah. But other than that, we just want you to enjoy our videos and enjoy a little bit of the farm life and hopefully learn a little bit too. That's kind of what we strive. But on occasion, we do have to do videos where we have to address some comments. Yep, so. like I always say, you never know what kind of video we're gonna put out. No. We, we we try to like keep a variety of anything that's happening well, in our just, lives. It's just our everyday life. We're not just gonna make a video of feeding the goats every day. I mean, yeah. we might have to sometimes if we don't have nothing going on, but we show normally. You our reality and whatever is going on in our lives reality that's that's what we do don't let him headbutt him he might headbutt him i'll throw him on his face and he'll bite him he no look he don't like him well he said nope good hey you stay with me and keep the stinky goat from rubbing all he up said, on me that's your mouth <laughs> all right guys that's enough for rambling thank you so much for tuning in to today's video like i said subscribe if you're not subscribed follow us on facebook follow us, us everywhere like. follow us to the store we don't care <laughs> no we do care about no we don't instagram um we do have an instagram also so like us follow us leave us a comment yeah leave us up. a comment down below and tell us what you think about rachel's confrontation it really was. She well. wasn't. I was listening to the whole thing on the camera. It has audio. Um, <laughs> I was listening to it and I was like, he actually threw some cuss words in too. And he's like, oh, sorry for my language. We forgot to, to bring that up. But, anyways, guys, know. thank you so much for watching <laughs> and we'll see you next Thanks, time. Thanks, guys. Ow. Dang. Okay, so we forgot to show you what Smeagol and Grace brought to the house and left on the front porch. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> a little varmint. I don't know what it is exactly. Kevin says it's a shrew. I don't know. I'll have to Google it. <laughs>